Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction today guys I'm checking out Mortal Engines official teaser trailer. I'll be honest with you guys I have no idea what this is about. I have not read the book I did some research because I heard about this film coming people are really excited about it So I did some research. This is of course a adaptation from a book It's a part it's actually part one of four books that have been released like in the early 2000s or something like that But people are really excited about this. They're saying the trailer is great that dropped today. So uh, why not? Why not check it out? Because you know I love going into trailers not knowing a damn thing, like having no clue what it's based on, nothing. I think it's pretty interesting. So without further ado, guys, let's get to now. Let's see what they show us, guys. Mortal Engines, official teaser trailer. Someone who hasn't read the book, have no idea. Let's see what's going on here, guys. All right. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, one of those teaser before the actual trailer. Jesus. Oh my God. Whoa. What the hell? What is that? That is London. What? London? Okay, I'm confused. What the hell? Oh. So they're gonna eat? Not eat, but capture? Okay. Let's get to a Chris Stuckman video. I just looked up the fact that it's a book. I pulled up the Wikipedia and I read the first of four novels in Philip Reeves' quartet of the same name. But I didn't look anything else besides that. Okay. The book is set in a post-apocalyptic world ravaged by a 60-minute war which caused massive geological upheaval. A nomad leader installed huge engines and wheels on London and enabled it to dismantle or eat other cities for resources. Okay, so that makes sense why they fucking ate that house on wheels or something. So, like, yeah, so I was right. Eat. Eat. It ate the... Oh, that's fucking weird, dude. But interesting. You know, this is what I also like is that whenever they do these adaptations of books, obviously the fans of the books are not too happy a lot of the times with the adaptation because they cut a lot of the stuff out that they wanted in the movie. But I think it's also cool because for me, it's like I get to discover, you know, a book series that I've never read because there's so many books now. Like, it's so hard to keep up with this shit. I'll be honest with you. I would have never heard about the Hunger Games if they, ne if they, if they never made movies for the Hunger, Hunger Games. I probably would have never heard about the Hunger Games. Probably would have never heard of it. I know it's very popular, but I don't think I would have ever really heard about the Hunger Games until the movies came out. Twilight, I don't give a shit about that. That was just stupid. Uh, it's my opinion. Um, and I, the, what what is it? The, the Maze Runner? Like, I didn't know about that either. But uh, this is this is this genre is for youth fiction, twelve and up, young adult. So it's kind of in the same vein as the other books that I just mentioned. They're young adult, but this seems a little bit different in the fact that it doesn't well unless i'm wrong it doesn't look like it's focusing on a uh like young teenagers i could be wrong it may, maybe it is but the fact that there's a a leader who put wheels and engines on london and they're eating other like cities and houses and shit for resources that's fucked up <laughs> like that's weird you know um but i like the look of it and when it says Peter Jackson, I thought, oh, Peter Jackson? It, like, I don't think he's... Is he directing this? Let's see. No. The director is Christian Rivers. What has he directed? Let's see. Um, he directed Pete's Dragon. He was the second unit director for Pete's Dragon. He, uh, the Splinter unit director for the Hobbit films. 
the animation and visual effects director. No, the animation director and visual effects supervisor for King Kong 2005, which is Peter Jackson. So this guy's been around Peter, and he was uh, the visual effects supervisor um, for all three Lord of the Rings movies, too. So he's been around. Okay. Um, it, now, I, 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 can't, I, don't, I think this is, this is his first directorial. It seems his first directorial. I could be wrong, but it looks like it is because everything else, like he's been a this type of director, visual effects supervisor. So I guess Peter Jackson just gave him the reins to go for it, you know. But Peter Jackson's a producer, um, screenplay. He's got that credit too. Um, that's that's it from what I'm seeing. This comes out December of next year. I I don't remember seeing a title or a when this was coming out. Yeah, there's no title. Just no time. No, I mean, no date. It just says the title. Hmm. Well, I like the look of it, and I like the concept of it. But I like the fact that I I didn't read kind of the basic idea of at least the adaptation, like the book wise, until after I saw the trailer. Cause like that was it was weird. Like it, it they ate that house. It, it they ate that little town or whatever. <laughs> I'm very curious about this. Um, but let me know in the comment section below, guys. Uh, what do you think about this trailer? I mean, have you guys read the books? And if not, um, what do you think of the trailer, regardless of not knowing any any uh, previous knowledge or whatever? And if you did read the book, like, how did you like how the trailer looked? I'm curious to know uh, your thoughts as well. I mean, this is this is definitely I'm definitely intrigued. I definitely want to see more. Uh, and if I like it, who knows? I may end up reading the book. Who knows? But there you have it, guys. That's my reaction for Mortal Engines official teaser trailer. Pretty interesting stuff. Want to see more, but uh, yeah, pretty damn good teaser. Pretty damn first good te like it's a good first teaser. That's what I meant to say. Jesus words. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys later.